So I have a really early start today. I have to be on set by about 6.20 a.m. So I'm going to do my advent calendar recording now. And then I will drink said tea in between and and record my thoughts. So, number five. Oh yeah, I did some funky cutout stuff just so I can see my drinks. Anyways. Here we go. Stormy night tea. It's got organic black tea, chocolate, Ceylon cinnamon, salt, allspice, clove, cinnamon, coconut, vanilla. Also has artificial and natural flavoring. Ta-da! Or tea. Cheeky Cherub Magic Potion. Can you see that? It is a fruit herbal tea. It has, I don't know what quince is, but quince, rosehip, hibiscus. Lemon balm, lemon verbena, rose flowers, sunflowers, corn flowers. So, lots of floral leaf notes. Yay! See you in a bit. So, it's been a really crazy cold morning. Lots of stuff going on. We're actually in holding right now. I do a lot of some background work, so I decided now that we are back in holding, I'm going to have some warm tea. First tea that I'm trying out is this guy here, Magic Potion. Here's the tea, I just poured it out. Looks like this right here. So it's kind of like a champagne-y color, which is really pretty. Now I know the word that I've been trying to describe the last few days. It's like silky smooth. That's how good this tea is. It feels silky smooth. There's no aftertaste. It's just bright, fresh, clean. It's like silk in tea form. So let's try this out. By the way, I soaked this for about, steeped this for about 10 minutes. Then we got called outside and it was cold. And then I came back and it's nice and warm for my thermos. Yay, me! So once again, this is a fruity blend. Hmm. So I wish I knew what was in this. I almost feel like there's like peach or something tropical in here, like peach or or mango or some sort of like a melony flavor. It's not tart, but it's sort of like it's citrusy. Once I have the list up, I can probably let you know. But once again, this definitely is a magic potion, as they say on the label. Oh boy. It's like hot champagne. That's the best way I can describe it. So thank you Son and Tor. This is absolutely delicious. So it looks like we just got wrapped and we're going to be probably fed lunch and then go home. Meanwhile, I come back to my little cup of tea and it is cold. Forgot to mention, I also tasted some floral notes. So whatever this little guy has, it's got something tropical, citrusy, fruity, and something very floral. Maybe hibiscus? I'm not sure. Again, I'm pretty sure I listed the ingredients somewhere. I had words flying across the screen. But I just tasted this cold, and in true herbal tea fashion, cold fruity teas are delicious cold. This one is great iced. Amazingly yummy. And it's fresh too and sweet. And because there isn't anything artificial in it, I don't have an aftertaste or anything. So, magic potion, yay you! 
now I'm home and I'm having the second tea for today's tea calendar. It is a uh, stormy night and this is what it looks like. Now traditionally when I drink this tea, when I uh, have it loose, it's a little bit messy. It's got a lot of bits and pieces that float around. I just haven't had it for a while so I can't remember the flavor. But it's black tea with coconut and with chocolate and a few other ingredients in there too. So I'm just going to taste this. It's not bad. I just wish that it was a bit more like boom, a bit more flavorful, a bit more potent. It almost sits flat. Doesn't mean it's not a lovely tea. I've had this before, so I know and now that I'm reminding myself. If I add a little bit of milk, I think it would be nice and frothy, maybe with a bit of a latte with a chocolate flavor and a hit. But yeah. That's my review on it. And I will still drink it happily. It just uh, differs from the description that it says it's a bit of an inferno, a heat inferno. I can taste a bit of the heat, but yeah, mm, could be like have more pow. But that doesn't diminish the excitement that I have for the rest of the tea calendar. So thank you, David's, for this one. And uh, tomorrow will be day six. So see you all then.